What's up guys, Infamous here, I'm dropping some information on the newest things coming to Marvel's Avengers when it comes to the War for Wakanda expansion pass. So with that being said, I'm ready to go ahead and dive in and give you guys all the information. If you guys want to always be in the loop, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, and let's go ahead and check out this information. So first off, we have the community manager, Andy, actually going in and talking about how we're going to have a complete two our war table right and that's going to be actually including things like the war table itself interviews gameplay and combat showcase all within that two hours so monday is going to be a fun field a couple of hours showing off nothing but black panther that sounds exciting and something that I, you know i'm 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 hyped about I am ecstatic about. Also, we got information today talking about the brand new enemy types we're going to be getting from Claw within the War for Wakanda expansion. So go ahead and dive in. I kind of highlighted the important stuff. We won't deep dive into everything because they'll do that themselves. But we have Matt Guido here who is actually the combat designer for Marvel's Avengers. Now he said he's going to be focusing in on a couple of different types of enemies. We've already been introduced to the arachnid type robots, those being the crawlers. And he wants to kind of give some more emphasis on the brand new things coming to the game, like these two new status effects being Sonic and Vibranium, which sounds awesome. It's going to play into, you know, Black Panther, his playstyle, and efforts to make sure they can show off and make better Sonic and Vibranium gear feel more unique and meaningful, which sounds really great. So you're going to have your first one set right here being the Bruiser. He is one of the new enemy types. He's going to have a large axe being a straight up brute type character. And yo, this looks dope. He's also going to have an overcharged form where he's going to have a shield on him, kind of like the nanobite type thing going on. It's just going to be a crazy shield that's going to do a lot of damage if we're not careful. Now, the other one is actually really interesting, which is going to be the strategist, who's actually going to be a support type enemy who is actually going to have a small disc that they command that is actually going to debuff heroes and then buff the enemy mercs. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy and just another new challenge for us to face with all our heroes and also kind of goes in here How it's gonna have a sonic aura, which is an ability that's going to be sonic themed for the mercenaries So that way they feel more threatening uh, while it's active uh, It kind of behaves it kind of behaves it behaves like a shield that would uh, deflect projectiles and blocked melee attacks So that is gonna be something that we're really gonna have to take down first and then take down the other enemies And I'm telling you this bruiser this bruiser looks like a beast bro. It looks like a beast but the news doesn't stop there. We actually got some information also talking about a brand new lineup of things to come in Marvel's Avengers as they're actually going to be releasing pretty soon the next month or two after the release, which is this month, of what the new war table is going to look like. So we're going to get a new war table pretty soon. I'm actually excited about this because I'm always excited about the future of this game and hopefully Spider-Man in the near future and maybe another new character real soon. Carol? You know what I mean? Bucky? Can I get Falcon? Can I get Falcon? Can I get Falcon? I really need him. Anyways, we're going to dive into some of the other things you guys have been wanting to see. So one of those things right here being um, a, a great little, uh, you know, emote, uh, something he kind of dropped today showing off him jumping on the spear on the side of the mountain that was just placed so nicely. And just look at the scenery. Oh my god, look at the scenery. It is amazing. Yo, Wakanda is about to look amazing. I, I honestly cannot wait to look at this even more. He throws it down, he stands on it, it has like the nice Wakanda symbols on it. Yo, I am absolutely pumped for this. And then of course we have another one showing off kind of like the, the temple room where he kind of gets the powers from, the you know, the Black Panther powers, I'm gonna say Wakanda powers. Uh, and you see symbols on the floor, you see, the, you know, things are happening. Yo, this looks crazy. And I'm wondering if this is gonna be one of the areas that we get missions from or something, cause just the way you walked in and the positioning of the cameras, uh, it, it looks it looks remarkable and then of course we have the one that you guys have been wanting to see the Wakanda forever emote this looks Remarkable, you know what I'm saying? Hit that Wakanda forever, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you cannot have Black Panther in the game and not the Wakanda forever to play tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Yo, rest, rest his soul, man. Like, yo, this is I love this so much. This is gonna be like one of the most used emotes in all of the game. I can't wait to take some cool pictures with this. It, it's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be so awesome. So many good things are gonna be happening with Black Panther. And then last but not least, they actually released a full trailer about Claw and his father uh, and then T'Challa with T'Chaka and, and just kind of the tales. I'm not going to play it here um, just because the full things on YouTube but just kind of looking at it you get these nice animated scenes but I will touch on this. I need this T'Chaka suit in the game for T'Challa. Okay, I need this suit. I need this. I need this suit. I need it. Look how clean that is. 
Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, this this suit would be a hitter in my opinion. To switch out the cheetah for a panther and you're, you're, you're golden. You're golden. You're golden. You're golden. Anyways, that's actually going to wrap it up for all the news we have here today. A lot of things are happening with War for Wakanda coming up very, very soon. Again, I am excited about the future for Marvel's Avengers, and this Wakanda expansion is looking amazing. I cannot wait to see what they do with the character, the world of Wakanda, and many other things. But again, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys are on the loop for all the information on this game and other superhero games here on the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.